Okay, y'all. I'm like honestly so constipated. Oh my gosh, it's like a Friday. Look how bad I look. Jeez. Anyways, it's a Friday after work and normally I would have already showered, gotten ready to go tear up the town, but I'm so constipated. I need to like take my medicine and sit at home so that what needs to happen can in fact happen. And so I thought, well, how can I be productive? You know, what can I do to just, I'm here at the house anyway, like, let me just do something. And I decided that I really want to go through my makeup. Um, it's not that this will be a huge declutter, but I am going to go through like every category in one video. And I'm more or less going to just be fine tuning what I know that I want to pass along just that I have a little more room. Let me show you where my makeup is actually stored. Okay, so this is where my makeup is actually stored. It's like broken. My my drawer set is broken. I've had it for like, gosh, probably at least five years. And it's also like just completely full. <laughs> so I really just want to go through and quickly edit what I know that I'm not using. Um, I mean, I really cannot get this open. Jeez. Yeah, I really just want to edit what I know I can that won't be missed at all quickly. The goal of this is to do everything quickly um, and just efficiently so that, yeah, things are just more organized. And then I want to pack a bag for work. So I have some work makeup there, which is why I want to go through this now. So I see kind of what I have. I'll also be going through my inventory numbers from last year just so we can compare. So this is like an inventory and declutter. All in one. Let's get started. Okay, two things while I start sort of going through this. I, one, cannot find my headphones, which is how I make sure that the sound quality isn't just like completely atrocious. Um, I don't know where they are, so apologies in advance if the sound is not that great. And then the other thing is I lied. I cannot find my makeup inventory, so I'll just sort of count and we'll do before and afters, but let's go ahead and get started. Honestly, with lips, it's not going to take that long. I'm keeping all of these ColourPop lip liners, so I just need to quickly count them. My favorite formula is the KKW Beauty, which no longer exists, and then next is ColourPop. So anything that's not those, I'm honestly just going to get rid of. So let me just kind of quickly count this and then I will update you. They don't all fit, and that's fine. I counted 35, right? Or was it 45? Crap. Hold on. Yeah, it was 35. It was 35. Okay, 35 lip liners, and I'm just over the next ones. They're drying. I used to make it work because I really liked the color, but I just don't need to do that anymore. And then this Nikita Dragon one, it won't stand up in my drawer the way these can, so... It's just dry. Like, I just don't need this in my life. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of her. So, yeah. I'm going to get rid of these three because I don't like the formula. And I'm totally fine with having this many lip liners because it's like an eyeshadow palette for me. I like having all the colors that I need. I can throw a balm over it so I don't have to buy as many lipsticks if I want various colors. And, yeah. So, I'm going to keep 35. I'm getting rid of three. <sighs> okay. For glosses, honestly... I think I've only got like five. Let me see. Um, more glosses may show up. Let me just go through these. Honestly, I, I already kind of went through and got an idea of what I know I'd want to keep. Like I know I'm keeping my new Charlotte Tilbury minis. All of my liquid lipstick I like with the exception of... Where are they? Okay, these NYX ones, they're just not good. They dry my lips out. They're not super pigmented. Like, I just don't care about them. They can go. Um, let's move this all the way. Let's see what else can go. I don't like the Stila formula. It's so disappointing. Like, should I do a disappointing products video? I don't like this um, ColourPop Luxe formula. 
don't like it. This Wet n Wild lip gloss I always keep, but I never use it. This Color Girl gloss bomb, don't need it. I don't need any of these Color Girl gloss bombs, to be honest with you. This one is a good color, but like whatever, it's old. Um, this was terrible. This was hey the Hey Honey Trick and Treat lip balm. It was so bad. It was like gritty and tasted horrible. This is just like a LA Girl matte lipstick. Don't use it. Um, this Joa one is not bad, but again, I don't use it. So as you can see, I kind of went through and divided up what I what I wanted to put more or less into like a purgatory, and then see if I would use it, and then I haven't. So this Victoria's Secret one is actually nice. It's just the summer color, and summer's over, so I might as well pass it on to someone who would wear it year round. Hmm. Okay, this one was go. This one I was going to keep because it's the only blue liquid lipstick I have, and I need a blue liquid lipstick for the base um for my urban decay blue lipstick that i love but i just found out that kvd is about to be coming out with a blue one in a new formula so honestly i'm just gonna pick that up let's see lip balms more lip balm liquid lipstick i like all of these this elf lip balm yeah i think i like all of the rest of these lipsticks so, oh sorry that was kind of loud this ABH liquid lipstick really isn't that good, but it works as a base for under, uh, other stuff. For all of my lip glosses. Um, yeah, I think for all the lip glosses, I'm going to keep them with the exception of this one by Iconic London. That color just, like, isn't my color. So, I'll keep all of these. I'll count them up and tell you exactly how many lip products I'm keeping versus getting rid of. Okay, so I had 43, and I'm getting rid of 11, so at least with 32. Like, I just don't care about these lip products, honestly. Like, I don't, I literally don't care about these. So, I'm really glad that I'll have more room to space out what I do own and just kind of start painting some of my lip products and definitely purchase less in the future. All right, I genuinely feel like the face products, it's like do or die, okay? So let's start with the sprays. They're right on top. I do have two like rose water sprays. I don't like them. So they will go. And then, oh, here's the foundation I forgot to add. I do have, this is just like a hydrating facial spray and I actually love it as a face primer. So I'm going to keep this one. And then um, the Milani Make It Last. I tried to pan this and I still didn't like it. Like it's just not good. So it's gonna go. And the Revolution Sport Fix, there's not much left in here. I will use it up. And then I do plan on purchasing my Urban Decay All Nighter when it goes on sale for the Black Friday sale. They have that one every year. So I will pick that one up. But for now, I'm using this one. And when it's gone, I'll purchase that one. And honestly, okay, so that's five uh, five sprays. I'm getting rid of three. I'm keeping two. And then for concealers, like this is really bad to say, but I'm keeping all of them. Because honestly, several of them are so close to being empty. Like... I know you can't really see in there like that, but I mean, I really do. This one I know is like on its way out. You can see it having the windowing around the sides. It's like really just almost gone. Like barely anything comes on the brush and I can just finish those up. And then, so if I were to get rid of some, let's say I get rid of three, I'd have three more, but then I'd have three purchases. So I'm just going to get rid of, um, no, no, I'm just going to keep these and then project pan them. So I have one, two, three four, five, six, seven, and I'm keeping seven. I know you're like, girl, is this even a declutter? But I just don't see the point in decluttering something that several of them are already almost empty. And then I'll just have to purchase more if I were to declutter something. Okay, and I'm not gonna do much better. With the primers, I do have 12, but I'm going to be keeping all 12. And some of them, for example, I have two of the poreless putty primers, which like I use, and then I also have the mini version because when I travel, I'm going to use it. So I know that I have a lot of primers. These I'm working my way through. And honestly, if I have them at the, at the beginning of next year or if I pan them next year, I'll still like them. So it's not a problem. Whereas the foundations, there are a few that if I still have them next year, I'm going to be like, oh, I have to pan these. And those two foundations would be this Milk Makeup um, Blur Liquid. It's just too matte for me. And I kept, I kept keeping it because um, it's a lighter shade. So it worked great in terms of mixing with other shades, but honestly, I'll just buy a lighter foundation. I'm not gonna have my makeup like a Hot Mess Express just because I'm unwilling to purchase something when I have the means to purchase it. So I'm gonna declutter that. Plus I have other ones, so I, it's, there's just no point in like forcing something that isn't natural. I think that's a song. And then this CoverGirl Outlast, I'm just like not obsessed with it either. I did pan one already. And I started to pan this one. I was definitely going to put it in a project. There's not much left. But then I thought, 
Why? Why, when I have so many other foundations here that I can use, the other foundations, if you're looking for them, they're these um, Pure Cosmetics Powder Foundations. I have them in multiple colors and a few backups. But why would I stress myself out to pan something and then hate the way my makeup looks every day? Meanwhile, I've got products that I love, which are going to expire, but I'm being stubborn and trying to pan them. It just doesn't make sense. So I'm not, I'm not fooling with that. So I started out with 11 foundations. I'm getting rid of two, which means I'm keeping nine. One, two, three, four, five, six of those are the same powder foundation, just in different colors and of course backups. And then I do have 11, um, do I have 11 primers? Let me see, was it 11 or I think it was 12 primers and I'm honestly going to be keeping 12. I'm panning a few. And so like this one will be gone in no time. Um, it's so close to being empty. Can you hear that? Like, it's so close. And then other stuff, you know, I really am using on a daily basis. So I do layer my primers. This one's really good too. I love this glassy skin one. Like half of that's already gone. So I'll definitely be keeping these because otherwise I will simply be repurchasing them for no reason when I could have just kept the original. Ooh, I don't even know what this is that's on there. That's disgusting. Okay, and then as far as powders go, these are powder foundations. This one is in a project pan right now. This is the pixie one. Um, oh yeah, this might be a, no, no, no. You're seeing that project pan before this. Um, these, I really, like, I like them. I'm going to use them. Um, I won't repurchase any of these, uh, mostly because they're discontinued at this point. But I'm keeping those. I've got backups of the Becca Hydra. What's it called? Hydra Mist. Love this one. What I am going to be getting rid of, finally, is this Cover FX Powder. Um, it was just the Compact. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that because I'm tired of looking at it. I'm also tired of looking at this e.l.f. blotting powder. I have dry skin. I literally never blot. Like, I'm so grateful anytime I look oily. <laughs> this Milani powder foundation, I repressed and then it broke. And I didn't like it after I repressed it anyway. It's so old. And then this Fenty Beauty, like, sampler I never even tried. So, if I didn't even try it, like, I think we can just let it go, you know? So, I guess I'll put the powders in here. I really wish there was, like enough space to put all of these into one there isn't yet but that's kind of like my goal for next year it's just like have everything all together so anyways that was one two three things that i'm getting rid of and i'm keeping one two three four five six in that category so about a third is being decluttered oh i forgot about this one this was in my everyday makeup drawer so i forgot it it's the lancome powder and i'm keeping it as well All right, this is where things get a little bit complicated because I do count individual pans. So for example, if a product like this has a blush, bronzer, and highlighter, they'll count as three separate products. So let me just go in and kind of, oh, this is gonna take forever, get a quick tally of the bronzers, and then I'll come back and we'll declutter those. Okay, I've counted everything up, and before I tell you how many's in here, let me just tell you how many I had last year because I was able to find that tally. And for highlighter, I had 68. And right now I have 52. For blush, I had 48. And right now I have 53. Oops. And then for bronzer, I had 21, and right now I have 19, so yay. I mean, these numbers are still high, but hopefully I can get through them. And honestly, bronzer is something that I wear every single day. It's something that I get through pretty quick. So I do have a good idea of the bronzers that I know I want to declutter. So let's just go through those. Um, okay. So, I'm, okay, okay, let's, okay, let me focus. We're, I'm currently painting this e.l.f. bronzer, so I am going to be keeping this. Um, this Milani one is the one that I use to contour. Now, it has replaced the bronzer that I used to contour, which is this Park Avenue Princess one from Tarte, and honestly, the formula of this does not compare to the new Tarte bronzer formulas, so I'm going to declutter that palette, which is awesome because that means I've gotten rid of one blush, one bronzer, one highlighter. 
Okay, I'm also going to be getting rid of, this is a tart bronzer, but it was a cream, and this is old. I put it into this container because I got rid of the rest of the palette. Um, did I? I can't remember why I put it in here, but I don't, I don't use it. I don't like it. It's too dark for me, and I love this palette that I have from Aesthetica, which has got, I counted these as highlighters, but it's got two cream bronzers. I'm actually going to declutter this deeper shade you can see where i tried to mix it with other stuff to make it work but honestly like life is too short to be sitting here mixing to make things work so i'm going to um actually just get rid of that and um that's just that i'm just going to get rid of it like I'll, I'll keep the rest of the palette i do like the rest of it okay back to bronzers i do still like the park avenue like the shimmery one i used that the other day and i feel like it is a total dupe or the e.l.f. bronzer is a total dupe for it. So once I'm done using this one up, I'll move on to the Tarte one. This Becca bronzer is amazing. It's so good. I'm so upset that they don't make this anymore. And then a bronzer that like I literally have no complaints over, I'm just, I don't need it, is this one by the brand Crop. So this is like the exact, exact shade as the bronzer that's in the Gwen Stefani palette, which I'm 100% keeping. So I honestly just don't need it so i'm going to keep the big palette and then i'll pass on this individual one that i know i don't need okay <sighs> are there any other major bronzers that i'm keeping well we can go ahead and talk about this palette by tarte which is primarily bronzer um i used to have two tardis pro palettes and i put together one with the shades that I like the most and I've completely used up a highlighter so I plan on painting this entire palette at some point in the future so that I can count it towards my empties but I'm keeping all the bronzers in that as well as the highlighters obviously they're like in a palette together and then I'm also going to be keeping this Park Avenue Princess bronzer palette that I also like from Tarte. I really love Tarte like I know they fell off for a minute but I've just always been a huge fan. And it's weird because brands like Too Faced, I, this palette I love, but I've never been obsessed with Too Faced. Like I've never been like, oh my God. <laughs> Tarte, it used to be whatever they came out with, I bought it, whether I needed it or not. So anyway, since I'm holding this Love Flush palette, I am going to be keeping it. Should I just get started with blushes now? It's like giving me anxiety. Y'all, I went to Crystals because I'm constipated. And I was like, oh, that always, like, makes me go to the bathroom. <laughs> Fingers crossed it works. Okay. So, it's highlight, 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 highlight. We're going to do blushes next. So, let's just move these highlighters out of the way. <sighs> okay. All right. In terms of blushes, I do have this Seraphine Botanicals blush palette, which I did use and make work, but I'm honestly just not inspired by it. So I don't see the purpose of keeping this. Oh my gosh. I got my declutter pile mixed up with my keep. So we're going to keep all of these that I put over there. And then I am going to declutter this, um, Seraphine Botanicals. Now they made another palette. Yeah. Same brand. And this is the cream blush palette and I oh my gosh did the class break on this oh no the whole thing broke is this happening right now honestly I love this cream palette like I'm going to keep it anyway yeah I'm gonna keep this anyway so that stinks but I really love it that's what I was about to tell you I don't like the powder but I like the cream well I will just put rubber Oh God, I just broke it worse. I'm gonna put a rubber band around it, hold on. All right, I'll have to get a rubber band from work. I'm just gonna do this for now because honestly, this palette is so good. I'm definitely going to keep it. Um, I'm panning this highlighter. I know we're not doing highlighters yet, but I'm going to be keeping that as well. This, uh, excuse me, this blush from NARS. I don't have any matte peachy peach like that. I love it, I'm keeping it. Actually, I think I might now, but I'm still going to keep it, so that's not the point. Um, Okay, here's a blush that I can get rid of. This is actually a bronzer duo, but I used to use that as a blush, and I absolutely adored it. But now, what is it that I found that I have been using that's very similar? I found something that reminded me so much of it. I think it's in this Pure palette, this Pure Barbie palette. Yeah, so all three of these kind of blended together make this shade. And so because this one's older, I'm going to pass it on, and I'm going to keep my Pure Cosmetics palette. 
All right, speed is the name of this game. So let me like just hurry up. If I'm not gonna get rid of it, I don't have to go through every little thing. So is there anything else blush wise? Oh yeah, I wanna get rid of this. This is too deep for me. And I originally kept it so that when my friends come over, I have something to do their makeup with. Um, specifically my best friend, she has a deep skin tone. But I now have, yeah, this blusher from Becca. And then I have this one from Nabla, which I use as an eyeshadow, but she uses it on her cheeks. So between these two, I have a matte and a shimmer shade. I'm going to be keeping these for when my friend comes over. And I'll actually just give her this one. She can use it for like every day. Let's see. Anything else that I'm getting rid of? Um, okay. This one by Cab. I like it. But it honestly blends out to look the exact same as this Becca blush. They don't really look exactly the same in the pan, but on the cheeks they really do. So I'm just going to keep the Becca one and then... Honestly, I think that that's it. I was going to pass on this Phase Zero blush, but it smells like coconut, and I live for that, so I just can't. Sorry. Sorry. So, everything else, yeah, everything else I'm going to keep. Let me just put the blush palette, or the blush products back together. I can't believe the packaging broke on this, like, ugh, right before my very eyes. I'm devastated. All right, moving on to highlighters. Um, I'm going to be keeping this... Manizer Sister Trio. Love her. Love it. Honestly, I still love my bright and colorful highlighters. Like, I'm keeping all of this stuff. I'm not going to get rid of stuff, like, just because. Like, mm -mm, not if I'm going to use it. I'm trying to pan this, but it, it hasn't been in a project in a while, so I haven't gotten to it. Um, let's see. I feel like I kept this so I can mix it in with, like, moisturizer and stuff but honestly I have enough highlighters I think I'll pass this along to my niece and that will be four things decluttered she also was obsessed with this artist couture purple dream diamond powder which I personally love as an eyeshadow on deeper skin tones like for example when my friend comes over this works for her but my niece really really loved it so I told her if I ever got rid of it I would give it to her so I'm just gonna get rid of it now um I think the rest of these I'm honestly going to just keep because I do like them. So that's kind of easy. That's kind of simple. Let me organize and then I'll come back and tell you um, the numbers of everything that I did declutter. Okay, so this is everything that I did decide to get rid of. Um, this equals to uh, bronzers, which went from 19 to 15. Blush went from 53 to 45. And highlighters went from 52 to 48. So, obviously the blush and the highlighters, that's like a uh, an area that I need to really work on. I'm pretty proud of the bronzers though. Like 15 is still a lot, but in comparison to blush and highlighters, like it's not too bad. Anyways, I've rambled. Let's move on to eyeshadow. these up <laughs> I'm genuinely like I can't make words I'm trying to find how many I had last year to compare okay so last year I had 563 pans of eyeshadow which I decluttered down to 389 Okay, let me just let you know that I have not purchased a single eyeshadow this year in 2022. Like, I have not spent money on a single eyeshadow, and I have 473 eyeshadows. So, my number has gone up only almost 100 since the last time I decluttered. And I know a lot of it is because I get gifted eyeshadow, which is not code for PR like it is for most people. Like, no, these are like legit people in my life who have gifted me eyeshadow. So I'm going to try to be ruthless and cutthroat. I make no guarantees, but let's just get started on what I'm going to get rid of. I already know I'm going to get rid of like these, um, just like cheaper eyeshadows. I mean, I don't try, I'm not trying to be insulting and I've, you can tell I've actually like legitimately used these, but I've just got better quality. We're going to keep it moving. 
Same thing with whatever this is. I got it for a gift for my birthday, I think. So I'm going to declutter that one. Um, this Dose of Colors palette, I just find the color story to be inspiring. But if I'm being honest, every single shade that is in here is also in my Just Peachy Mattes. And I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. So I'm going to keep it and I'll go ahead and declutter once and for all the Blushing Berries eyeshadow palette. I just can't. I just can't keep everything. Okay, Natasha Denona. My sister gifted me this one. And then a co-worker from work actually gifted all of these to me. These other ones. So I'm keeping those. And then I did purchase. Okay, so technically I did purchase this because the Sephora was closed the day that I was going um, in December. And so I ended up having to go January 2nd. So I did technically purchase one eyeshadow palette. It is the Natasha Denona Mini Retro. No regrets. Keeping her. And um, a Violet Boss. Let me get all the Violet Boss palettes together and we'll go through those. Okay, well, apparently I only had three. And I actually don't have anything wrong with the Violet Boss formula. Like, there's literally nothing wrong with her formula. Like, even this palette is, like, just beautiful. And I can just imagine someone loving this so much. But I honestly have these shades over and over again. And since I haven't touched this one, it's like, girl, like, let it go. I won't use this again until next spring, in which case I have other shadows that I like more um this berry I kind of thought about trying this I'm not gonna lie trying it and like seeing if the other one should be decluttered but I'm going to declutter this while it's fresh and new the berry burst again I like these colors there's nothing wrong with them but I just have them over and over and over again and I'd rather just see like this is an example of a hard one because I know that I like these shades and they look so, so good on me. They really do. Like, they're my colors. But I can live without it. This one, however, I really am going to keep. Because this green is beautiful on my eyes. This purple I love. I love both of these. I love everything except for this really bright orange. So, I, I'm going to keep it for that reason. <sighs> Why am I out of breath doing this? I have no idea. Um, let's go through my singles. So, I'm keeping almost all of these, like, glitter topper style shadows. I'm not going to keep this lime crime one because I put it in a project pan and I ended up not using it up. So like, it's just time for it to go. Like I'm over it. Plain white I'll keep. I always keep this cargo one because I'm like, oh, it's a perfect one and done eyeshadow, but like whatever. I don't use it. I'm going to keep this loose glitter. They like kind of never expire. I've got this House Labs liquid eyeshadow, but it's like a super dark color. And even in regular eyeshadow, I don't wear super deep shades. So, I'm just never going to use this. It hasn't even been touched to the human skin. So, get rid of it. Um, this is another, like, glitter topper. Going to keep it. Those, I love those. Okay, I'm going to keep this ColourPop also kind of glitter topper. It's in the shade Frog. That's funny. Charlotte Tilbury, keeping that. Um... The L'Oreal Infallible, we all, y'all remember this? This was everything. I'm definitely going to keep this. And then, so I kind of want to keep this because it will keep me from, per oh, look at that. It will keep me from purchasing Halloween makeup. <laughs> I'm like, girl, just go get that orange eyeshadow you have and like don't purchase anything because this is from the Hocus Pocus collection. So after Halloween, I am going to declutter this, but in order for me not to purchase like random Halloween makeup I'm going to keep this and be like remember you never use that yeah this is why we don't buy Halloween makeup so I'm going to keep it for now because it will keep me from purchasing other things but in the future it will go I was clearing off that round of stuff and I realized I forgot these I'm keeping these these are more like glitter toppers okay I went ahead and grabbed like more colorful makeup I've got this Tarte palette which I personally feel like the function of it has been replaced by this Urban Decay Stoned Vibes palette. They're both like beautiful jewel, Julie and or pastel shades that I can use just atop other shadows or as a lid shade to really like bring it like, I don't know, like, like make it pop, you know? So I don't need that. And then I know we just talked about this um, Natasha Denona palette, but this palette is the reason why I feel like I can get rid of some other palettes because I just don't need the shades anymore. So a palette that does not fall into that category is this Juvia's Place palette because the shades in it are just like deeper versions of the pastel palette. So I don't, I don't need that. 
No, no, no. I mean, I do need that. I need both of them. So I don't know where my mind was going. Actually, I do. I started thinking about this Revolution palette because it was next. And this one I do not need. Now, there's like a ton of use on this. Don't get me wrong. When I didn't have any other pastel palettes or shadows, I like went to town on this guy. But now I have better. This one's older. The other ones are newer. And I can just go ahead and pass this along. Um, I never do this. I never depot shadows, but I'm going to depot this shadow right here. It is my good luck shadow. Like I have worn this to job interviews and every single one of them, I got the job. I've worn them on first dates and every single one of them, I got a second date. So I'm going to depot this eyeshadow. It is my good luck eyeshadow. You can tell there's a ton of use on it and the rest of the palette, I will declutter. Oh, I'm out of breath again. And like why I'm not doing anything. Okay, this is kind of a colorful palette, but I'm keeping it. And honestly, if I were the one where I'm missing a ColourPop palette. I don't know where it is, but uh, these three came, this came in a set with another palette, which had like green and blues. Um, I'll find it. But if I, how do I put this? The reason why I didn't purchase the Natasha Denona one is because I knew that I had shades similar in my ColourPop palettes. However, my sister knew how much I really wanted it. And I had just had several surgeries and she was like, I'm going to get it for you for your birthday. So these are sort of duplicate palettes, but honestly, I use them together and I'm going to keep both of them because just because, but I will say if you've been eyeing the pastel palette by Natasha Denona, like just get the color pop ones. Truly, like truly just get those. Okay. And then speaking of color pop palettes, this two hope one, I've like literally never used um I have one or two pink shades if I want to do a pink look I can so I'm just going to declutter this guy and I do have this Tarte palette which I'll never get rid of because of the mermaid case I've also got this which is um a collection of single eyeshadows that I can pop in and out add more if I want to so I will be keeping that as well Okay, and let's just do the rest of the drugstore palettes. Honestly, like, I really love the ColourPop ones, and you can mix and match the color stories if you're traveling. So, I'm keeping all of these. I love this one, especially, like, with this fall weather about to be coming up. I'm into yellows. This one's good. Like, they're just so good. Um, this one was a bunch of other shadows from another palette, but honestly... I have these shades all over again so i'm just going to pass this one along because i just have too many and this milani one milani comes out with a good color story like every palette from milani that i've seen has tempted me but i have these shades 10 times over in my collection same thing with the burgundy palette which like story time this guy gave it to me he said he had bought it for his ex but then they broke up before he got a chance to give it to her and i was just like wow so you're giving it to me like what is going on but we're not together clearly um this milani palette i haven't even touched so before i do let me pass it on and then this ColourPop palette you guessed it I'm keeping it. This is such a good palette. Like, oh, I cannot wait to start wearing this again. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. So yeah, I'm going to be keeping like five color pop palettes from this round and getting rid of four. Actually, yeah, four other palettes. Okay. And then I've gotten some Charlotte Tilbury quads. I really want to purchase a few more of these. They're just really expensive. I have this Sultry palette from ABH. Definitely keeping it. Subculture keeping it. Prism, I've debated on passing along, but even if I only reach for this every now and again, it's worth it to me to keep because the shades are quite different, quite unique. And this is like my favorite formula. Soft Glam is probably my most used. Well, until I started painting the modern Renaissance. And so this is what it's looking like. I'm thinking about putting this in the project pan, this specific shade like coming up. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And then the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. I actually just got not too long ago. So, and by long ago, I mean within a year ago, which this came out many, many moons ago. All right, guys, that's actually all of the eyeshadow. So let me count up what I got rid of and uh, pray for me. Okay, y'all, I did the math, which was difficult. And I am getting rid of 144 pans of eyeshadow, which brings my total to 329. 
Oh, I did not mean to be that loud. And last, at the beginning of this year, I had 389. So I went from 563 to 389 to now 329. So, I mean, it's getting there. I don't see why anyone needs more than probably 50 eyeshadows, but it's getting there. It's getting there. So all of this is going to go to friends and family. along with this basket worth of stuff obviously not if it's like super old and nasty like i'm not going to pass on for example this lime crime glitter i'm gonna just toss it but i feel like this is probably more than some people own to be honest and it makes me feel really good just to know that like my drawers are going to close properly oh and by the way i'm not going to go through like mascara and eyeliners and stuff because i'm not getting rid of any of that stuff it's all like exactly what i want it to be so yeah, the sun has like essentially gone down. I'm like literally parched. Um, that's the end of this declutter. I hope that you enjoyed and you'll subscribe to see more. And that's really all I have to say about that. So I'll see y'all next time. Bye.